What's going on, family? I pray everybody's doing well as we off top. Thank the Holy Spirit for another blessed day, giving our Heavenly Father all the honor, the glory, all praise and worship. Thank you for our Savior, Yahshua. Different type of video here, and this is a video response back to Music 6. Um, man, I love your email. Now, I'm, I'm going to say this off top. There are a lot of people who are very religious, who don't listen to other music. And then there's people who can listen to both. You know, it's each to their own, not knocking nobody on what they do. And me as being a musician, I listen to a lot of different music. Um, but I want to talk to some, I want to talk about somebody, as you see my title, Charlie Wilson. Because I want to talk about where he came from to where he's at. Now, a lot of people don't know the glory behind your story. I'm going to say that again. A lot of people don't know the glory behind your story. And all music is not bad music. What makes it bad is the spirit that's behind the music. Or the person that's, you know, getting drunk, getting high, whatever. You know, letting the, inviting in those evil demonic spirits. And letting them spirits give you those lyrics to write. That's what make music bad because the same A flat card note that I hit, notes that I hit on the piano in Amazing Grace, it's the same exact card on the piano that I hit in Outstanding. <laughs> Somebody kiss an A flat minor or whatever. I'm just using that for an example. Uh, those cards are still gonna be the same in different types of music. Somebody to catch that later on. Only musicians pretty much know what I'm talking about on that right there. And real talk, the drinking, the drugs, the dope, the crack, the cocaine, it took a lot of them out. And there's so many of them I can talk about, but I I, I, I choose Charlie Wilson's video. I don't know if Charlie Wilson will ever see this video. Much love to you, Charlie Wilson, one of my favorite um, that they used to be with the Gap Band. Uh, we all know how y'all split up and what happened. But if you listen to Charlie Wilson's testimony, see, a lot of people will tell you that music saved them. Of course, they talking about the Holy Spirit saved them too, but along with the music, because even, even myself, if I hadn't been in music, I'd probably be dead. I'd probably be lost or locked up or I ain't no telling what I'd be doing. It's 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 the music. Being a musician, being a producer, making all those tracks. Charlie Wilson. <clears throat> I'm talking about this brother who was born in Tulsa, Oklahoma, around about 1953. January the 29th, around 1953. Very, very talented. And this brother, when the Gap Band, when excuse me, the Gap Band split up, which is also one of my favorite bands of all times, things went wrong. Things, things hit sideways, as the old folk would say. The money, it 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 didn't it didn't hit right for Charlie. So Charlie. Wilson became homeless. Y'all done heard him tell this story before. On the streets of L.A., especially, he became homeless, sleeping up under parked trucks that led him into drinking alcohol and being strung out on crack cocaine because he lost it all. But Charlie didn't give up. He was homeless, but when you look at the, the the glory behind his story, by him not giving up, Charlie was on that verge, we could say. You can also say suicide thoughts probably stepped in place. But he always remembered, see, if I remember correctly, Charlie Wilson's daddy 
was a Kojic minister. We say Kojic, y'all know that just simply means Church of God in Christ. And his mama also was a pianist. So you know Charlie always knew about the Holy Spirit. He always remembered it. And he said if he said if the most high God would get him off them streets, he will forever. Shout out his name and praise him. That's why one of my favorite new songs that he did versus back in the day with the Gap Band is that song he got called I'm Blessed. Not a day go by that he don't thank the Lord up above. Ask him how I'm doing. He said, ask me how I'm doing. I'm blessed. No, I'm blessed. <laughs> now you look at Charlie. Charlie's almost what? 29, 30 years sober. That's a long time to be sober. Some people don't, they don't kick that addiction. And he give all glory to God. Now, some people might say, well, you know, he in that R&B, man. You know, I don't understand. You know, some of them cats, they be talking about, you know, they, they, they love God. Man, see, first of all, the most high y'all give gifts without repentance. And the most high knows the heart. He looks at the heart. And what I see with Charlie Wilson is genuine. Now, don't get me wrong. You do got a lot of people that's in R&B, rap, hip-hop, and old school and all that stuff. They get on stage and, and be thanking the wrong God. But all Charlie ever wanted to do was make that music. See, as a musician, man, I'm a, I'm, I'm a music lover, man. I, oh, man, when you talk about songs like Outstanding, Yearning, Computer Love, just naming a few of my favorites from, from Charlie, you know. You don't hardly hear too much music like that no more. Matter of fact, to, to the folks that can listen at that type of music, I want you to go on here on YouTube. You, you might already have heard it before, but type in Charlie Wilson, Tiny Desk Concert. Look at how smooth this is. And, and look at the um, look at the background singers and the musicians. Look at them very closely. Just listen at them. Look, look at them and listen at them. And Charlie gets teary-eyed in that concert and start thanking the most high in the middle of that concert. Now some may say, he ain't, he ain't thanking God. Let me tell you something, man. You're going to be shocked at who you see in heaven. You'll be shocked at who you see, who you don't see, and you'll be shocked you made it. It's too many people that's so quick to put people in hell and say they, they, they didn't make it to heaven like they God Almighty they self. You got to be very careful with that, man, because you don't know who's going to wind up where. You better be making sure you got your life right. So in this video, man, like I said, I don't know if Charlie Wilson will ever see this video, but man, hats off to Charlie Wilson. I still look at Charlie Wilson, man. Look at look at Charlie Wilson and Ron, Ron Osley, man. They still kicking strong, man. I think Ron almost close to, what, about, he almost about 80 now? And Charlie, your voice is still strong, man. Stronger than ever, man. You know, <laughs> some some of y'all was laughing because uh, y'all when y'all went to that maze concert. I'm not saying this is the the down talk Frankie Beverly, but they, you know, was talking about how his voice was so woe out and, and he was tired. He couldn't even really just push his notes out. But when you look at Charlie, man, I'm, I'm not trying to say that Charlie's better than than Frankie and none of that. I'm not, you know, trying to start up none. I'm just saying to make a point. Charlie Wilson's voice is still strong. Now, if he'd have stayed strong out on them drugs, that voice wouldn't be like that. But like I say, he's about 28, 29. I'm going to just say almost 30 years delivered. You know how many people died on the streets, homeless, died on the streets in their crack addiction, cocaine addiction, but he kicked it. The Holy Spirit kicked it. So much love and respect, man. I'm giving major shout out to Charlie Wilson. You know, he's still doing his thing. Some may call him Uncle Charlie. You know, I wanted to choose him in this particular video. This is a different type, this is a different type of video for, you know, the musicians out here that you know who you are that hit me up, man. Y'all always ask me who is my, you know, number ones I like to choose, man. And I don't just look at them as musicians, the the ones I, that I pick. I look at them better as the better people that they are. 
as a musician. Because you got some musicians out here that's cocky, they're arrogant. They don't want nothing to do with you. Half of them won't even speak to you. But Charlie Wilson has always been like that. When I met Gerald Albright for, for the saxophone lovers, me and my bar Marvell years ago, when Gerald Albright came down here to Dallas, Texas, man, at the American um, Airlines Center, put on a free concert. Him and Kurt Whalen, man, tore it up. Sean Martin was on the keys. I mean, you don't see too many people doing free concerts like that. But they were so humble that we got a chance to, to, to go back there and talk to Kurt Whalen and Gerald Albright. And these guys are so humble, man. So humble. I also got a chance to, to see Gerald Albright in Fort Worth, Texas. But just, they sit down like normal people and talk to their fans, man. You don't, you don't see that a lot. Tell you about the struggle, the being broke, that hanging in there. I mean, I, that means a lot to me. So I just wanted to throw that in all so, man, just hats off to Charlie Wilson. I don't care who get mad and hate on a video like this. See, I still have fun in my life. I'm not, I don't act all like some of these religious folks, man. I still know I'd have a good time and keep it clean at the same time. You know, especially when it comes to music like that, man, yearning and outstanding. You know, I hey, I tell people all the time, I got a little short clip on here with Computer Love. Computer Love is one of me and Diddy's hookup songs because that's how me and Diddy hooked up was through the computer. I never knew that my blessing, that the Holy Spirit was going to send my blessing through a computer. As just like Charlie said in the song, thanks to modern technology. Could it be this face I seen on my computer screen? And that's how me and my wife, notice I said my wife, met over 10 years ago. Through YouTube. You never know how the Holy Spirit is going to work. So, once again, Charlie Wilson. Hey, girl. <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> My name is Charlie, last name Wilson. Charlie got so many hits, man. But much love to you, brother. And a uh, shout out to everybody, man. All the musicians doing your thing, man. Y'all always keep the Holy Spirit first. And like I say, man, yeah, a lot of them got strung out. The dope took them out. The drugs took them out. The drinking took them out. The running of women, man, that, that abuse of all that stuff added together. But there are some that's, that's been delivered and they enjoying life. On that note, peace and blessings to y'all. Shalom. Oh, to the, to the press that always, when I do videos like this, ask me, Oh, I forgot your screen name before I shut this video off. You said when it when it comes to, you know, listening to that music, do me and my wife just listen to church music? Really? I just answered that in this video. No. As a matter of fact, man, I'm trying to close, but I, I'm almost I'm almost wanting to go into something else. When it comes to church music, who do you think a lot of these people get their music from that they putting in the church? I'm gonna use John P. Key for an example. Don't when you listen to John P. Key back, especially his old music, don't you know that's gap band? Most of these church songs ain't nothing but blues. <laughs> Blue, they call it gospel, but it's mostly just blues. And then you got a lot of R&B in a lot of these church songs. So, like I said, it's the spirit behind music. First of all, none of us have ever been in front of the most high in that sense. And let me, let me say it like this so this won't sound confusing. In the Bible, it never showed, it never told you a name of the music, like, like, like all these genres we got out now. When David played that harp, we could say a harp in so many ways, and calmed those evil spirits out of Saul, we don't know what it was. And I'm not saying that to say that the most high love gangster music and all this stuff. I'm just saying there is a lot of beautiful music. That's a lot of beautiful music. Excuse me. There is a lot of beautiful music. Got tongue twisted for a minute. Out here. I'm going to tell you somebody else who I, I just love his music. Brian Copeland. That boy is awesome on that piano. 
That music is so relaxing. Norman Brown. So I love jazz too. Norman Brown, one of my favorites. George Benson, one of my favorites. I like a lot of jazz without words, so just a little bit of words in there, just little hooks. But uh, Marcus Johnson, I'm just naming a few. Like I said earlier, Gerald Albright, man, Everett Hart. It's so many of them, Kurt Whalen, that, that I just love, man, that I love. So on that note, man, y'all keep doing your thing, man, and, and just realize that your gift comes from above, but don't abuse it. Shalom.